All right, guys. Well, considering it's late August, uh, can't really help of the bugs and the June bugs there in the background, but uh, or Mother Nature's wind that happens to be howling around today. But uh, anyways, guys, I got a video for you here. I know I haven't been posting anything, and that's just because this summer has been off the wall crazy. Um, you know, I've been up to New Hampshire, Maine, Vermont, uh, upstate New York to get my uh, farm all tracked there. I've uh, just been working pretty much every day, either with my dad or across the street or down the street, and uh, yeah, I've been grilling in some, some good dough, uh, so I'm definitely going to update a couple guns or get something, you know, for the channel. Um, so I'm doing a, since it's August 26th, we go back to school uh, in two days. So this is like the last two raw. So um, let's see. I'm gonna make a video here today for you guys of uh, some squirrel hunting tips. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Um, all right. So first off, let's go through your gun. Uh, make sure you have a high-powered or you know anything over 800 feet per second pellet gun. All right. Uh, with my with this gun. This is my Remington 1200. Um, I love this gun. Works real good. I uh, use it for everything. Uh, it's got 12, 12, between 1,000 and 1,200 feet per second. And it'll just knock anything down, really. Um, so this is one of the guns that I would use. Um, so I put a scope on it. I have a 4x32 center point scope. Um, and I have it zeroed in at 15 yards. Usually you want to have it anywhere between 10 and 20 yards. It's usually about, you know, good shooting distance. Um, the other thing is I keep my guns extremely clean. Every time I use them, I wipe down the barrel, wash the inside of the barrel, take the scope off, clean the scope, take, uh, you know, take it all apart, oil it, grease it. Uh, wash it. You can see I let my buddy borrow it and chip some paint on it, or it got some paint on it, and I just I clean it up real nice, uh, so it's ready to go next time I need it, and it works. Um, so that's the gun. You just want to keep it clean. You know, shoot it every now and again. Have it dialed in anywhere between 10 and 50, uh, 10 and 20 yards. Um, so yeah. Uh, so pellets, what you can do is you, if you get like uh, the crossman pellets, they come in those really loud, annoying metal tins, right, that, that shake. What I did is I took a mint container, a plastic mint container, and put my pellets in there. Now what I usually do is put a piece of um, plastic or even a tissue or a napkin down on the bottom, and I tape one to the lid too, so they can't bounce around. They're real quiet in your pocket. Uh, and that's that's good because it doesn't... You know, you can, and they're not going to spill. You know, it's still going to stay nice and locked. So that's that. You can fit a lot of pellets in there. So. Alright. Now, places to look for squirrels. Uh, red squirrels tend to hang out around uh, pine trees. Uh, they usually come up to limbs like this, where it turns into a V you know, or sticks out. They can hide right up in there, in that crevice there. Uh, red squirrels love that. Gray squirrels like that too, but gray squirrels are usually on the move. Um, if you put out corn, peanuts, bird seed, if you put a bird feeder in your backyard, you are sure to get squirrels. Um, so yeah, you just want to look for food that they would have, you know, like under, uh, uh, like, uh, under a uh, oak tree with the uh, acorns falling. All right, and anywhere that has like a nut tree or wherever, is usually a good squirrel spot. Now, to, for to sight in your gun at 15 yards, what you want to do is put a target up. Obviously, what I'm using is I'm using an old beer can, empty beer can, with a one-inch diameter target on it. Now, one inch is roughly the size of the squirrel's head. When you make the shot, you want to shoot for the head because that is the most, that is the deadliest spot, really. If you shoot heart and lungs, uh, you will kill them, but not as instantly as the headshots. Headshots just work real good.
So, you got the big two, two inch targets, the, the one inch, and then the, the half inch. Okay, use the one inch and put it on. I was even going to just put it up here if I couldn't find a beer can or anything. Um, so yeah, you just want to get a target and throw a couple rounds down and obviously dial it in so you're you're either you're right on the edge of the block or right in the block, but you don't want to be inside the circle because that's a little too close. You know, you could still miss. But you want to be right on the edge of that. Right there. So that's that. Um, so yeah, basically keep your guns clean and oiled up. Uh, keep the scope dialed in. Shoot it often so you get a good good um, position. You can try different positions, you know. Um, put your pellets in a mint container. I think that was, uh, I forget what kind of mint container that was. But uh, just put them in a mint container with a piece of piece of cloth or napkin or paper towel down uh, to keep it from rattling like that. Um, sight in your gun for between 10 and 20 yards. Uh, look in, look in the woods for the squirrels, really, um, because they're not going to be roaming around in your backyard, you know, just hopping around, unless you live where I live, which has a lot of land around. But, uh, right in here is a good squirrel spot, and you can see, because, um, there's just a lot of trees. Look, and look high up, you know, and, uh, that's why it's sighted in for 15 yards, because you could go 15, you don't have to be 15 yards straight out, you could be 15 yards up, you know. So, and if you're shooting up, you want to shoot above it just a tiny, 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 tiny bit. Like, if you're aiming for dead center, well, let's say, um, all right, let's say you're, you're aiming for this, this black line right there, that black circle. You're going to aim right in that gap, right there, between the circle and that other line coming down. You want to aim right there, because that bullet is potentially going to drop a little bit um, as it's going up. So, you want to aim right just a tiny, tiny bit above it. Like, if you want to hit it, if you want to hit it mid-head, aim right at the top of his head, and you'll hit it right mid-head, almost guaranteed every time if you're pretty far away. Um, so, yeah, make sure you're going to sight it into a tee, because those suckers will move fast, and you got to put bullets down range pretty quick uh, to get them. So, all right, guys, I'm going to uh, shoot my gun a little bit here, and... Looks like we got a farm truck coming, hay truck, hay dump truck actually, full of, yep, full of hay. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to sight this gun in, see, they don't spell. I'm going to sight this gun in, and uh, then I'll show you that. And one other thing you get, you should carry is a squirrel call and a knife. I got a 10 inch, no, 8 inch buck knife. See that, 8 inch buck knife. And that's that's my knife. And that you can use for anything. And keep that nice and nice and sharp and clean in case you need to cut something. And uh if you're just going around your house, you don't need it. But if you're going in the woods, always carry a little extra toilet paper for fire starter and uh a match, just in case, because squirrel season, I don't know about you guys, but squirrel season here starts uh, September something. So that's that, guys. I'm going to sight in my gun and then I'll uh, pick you guys back up.